what's up guys welcome back to the channel you already know what it is it's that time of year that we all have been waiting for and that is deer season super excited but i gotta be honest with you this texas heat is no freaking joke uh, decided to come out here a couple of days prior to opening weekend here in texas to set up by a pop-up kind of like i did uh, last season so stay tuned for season two of Hunting Public. Um, I know I have gotten tons and tons of messages. Hey, just go mobile, uh, walk around, spot a stock. I get it. I tried it towards the end of the season. I had a blast. I will be doing some of that this season also. But anyways, I gotta do a little pop-up setup so I can bring out my girls. Uh, as you guys saw from last season, my second daughter, Isabel, she got her first buck, which that was awesome. I'm still crying. You guys saw the tears, you saw the excitement. But hopefully this year, I'll get my oldest to, uh, you know, take a buck down herself. Um, we'll see if she gets uh, motivated enough to come out with me and spend some time and, uh, you know, enjoy this hunting public stuff. But anyways, uh, some of what you saw last year, uh, sorry for the sun, uh, this is what I'm doing initially. I have my pop-up, I have some corn, I have all my tools that I'm going to need to set up. Uh, brought some trail cams, hopefully they don't get stolen, you know, it is hunting public, anything goes kind of thing, but in this area when I'm hunting, people are pretty uh, respectful about other people's property, so that's always a plus. As you guys remember, this long, long walk. I've been dreading it, but people that uh, are serious about it, they'll make that walk. Well, at least for me, I'll be biking again. Actually, I just had to get some maintenance on my bike. The last day of the season, I had some flat tires and it was a whole mess. So getting maintenance done on the tires. So anyways, let's get into this long walk and let's find a good spot to go set up this pop-up. All right, I'm just a mile in, and this sun is whooping me. Look at that, look at that. Man, and then pushing all that, ain't no joke, guys. Anyway, so I'm about to get into the area where I started uh, last season on hunting. Uh, I'm gonna stop there, check it out, see if I see some uh, trails. Actually, I saw a lot of trails out here coming across so this area a little bit today, but, you know, I'm trying to go where people don't want to go, to be honest with you. Um, last year, I had no problems, like I said, with uh, people in my area or kind of like being disrespectful, just having crappy uh, hunter's etiquette. But, you know, I want to get in some different areas, try them out, uh, see what comes in. Anyways, took my water break, still catching on my breath, but can't stop. I don't want to be out here dark at, at night. I still got to go to work tomorrow and, you know, get some rest. But nothing like hunting season. Just the, just being out here in the area, it just, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a different vibe. It's just, it's just awesome. If you guys uh, just come across this video and you're not a hunter, Get into it or go outside, do something, get a hobby. It's awesome. Very uh, stress relieving and I don't know, I recommend it. If you don't know how to hunt, check out a few videos, just get out there and meet some people. I have met some cool people out here. So anyways, I'm gonna stop BSing and just get back into it. Let's go. Before I forget, before I continue, I know I keep BSing, I'm getting the other mile. If you are here in the elements, you see this stuff, you see this grass, this tall grass. Here in Texas, tons of rattlesnakes, tons of crazy stuff in it. I have my, my gators here. Um, they have protected me many times. Uh, if you just scroll down to my videos, you saw I was out pig hunting. Came across a fucking rattlesnake and it almost got me. Man, I was pretty shook. Anyways, be smart, protect yourself. Also another thing, 
uh, always, always let someone know where you're at, especially if you're hunting by yourself. Have a plan. Send your ping to a homie. Let them know where you're going to be at. They're there at least. Um, but anyways, some FOI stuff for you guys. I'm going to stop being since we're getting to this uh, mile in. And let's start putting up this uh, pop-up. So I just got to the area where I hunting last year. And it's pretty sad. If you guys remember that little creek that ran and it was full of water. Look how dry this is. Oh man, this is very sad. That's pretty sad. Um, on my way here, I didn't see no, uh, no really no like, no, I guess, foot marks or anything like that from deer or hogs. And usually anytime walking in, you see them crossing back and forth. Um, I haven't seen anything. I saw a spot that potentially I was interested on, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be here and uh, try to set up in this area. Uh, yeah, it's pretty sad. To be honest with you, that's pretty sad. Uh, here in Texas, we haven't gotten that much rain at all, or at all, pretty much, this uh, this year. So, I don't know. What should I do? Should I stay within that area, find a new area? You guys let me know. Anyways, I'm going to continue on this path, see if I see something that I like. I'm going to check out my old spot. Worst case scenario, I'll come back to my old spot and... Uh, and see what comes in. I got a couple of uh, truck cams, like I said. Uh, I'll set them up, see if something walks by. If there's any activity out here. But anyways, pretty sad. I don't lie, pretty bummed out. And once again, I just made this stop to catch my breath. Cool. Found the somewhat a good area. Actually, pretty good area. Um, I had this place dialed in. Uh, last season and I, I said that if I ever were to come back here this probably be the area that I would want to set up a pop-up uh, there's a lot of trails a lot of trails I see a lot of uh, marks hogs javelinas deer in this area so now it's a matter of where do I set up this pop-up that is going to allow me to have uh, good shooting lanes and also to continue having flow of traffic without them completely freaking out of seeing a pop up. Obviously I'll do my best to uh, camouflage this thing, but obviously they don't know this. It's not something natural. Ooh, what do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about that little spot? Hmm. I have some uh, cover in the rear. But I won't have really a shooting lane through all this. So let's keep walking, see what I see. I have another area here that I'm coming across. Look at this. I think this will be a good area, a flow of traffic. Check it out. You guys could set something up. Look at all this. Look at all that. Look at all that traffic. I've seen them dump from over here. I don't know if you can see that. I could set up right there. Oh, sorry. You know, I could probably set up right there. And I could shoot in this area. I could also, let's see. Let's see. Oh, I like this spot. And look at all this area. Look at all this. That I could have to shoot. A little traffic. I see some trails. I could definitely have 
saw yourself filming, you know. Uh, but uh, I could be in the shade. I could set up my pop-up here. I could put some tree trunks. I can find some stuff. Pile it up. And I think uh, I'll have some good shooting lanes. Eh. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Or just bring it closer to this tree. Have this background. And then I could have all this to shoot. And I'll have some concealment coming from this side. I could have some concealment come from this side and I can catch that flow and them jumping in and come side to side. I would just have to work. I would just have to work how much concealment and how to uh, actually cover up my pop-up. Hopefully by then they'll just be used to it, but I like this spot. Sorry. But I do like this spot right here. I don't know. It won't be the most concealed, but I think it will give me some good chances of sending a shot. Anyway, I'm not shooting anything past 20, 25. Oh. Let's go get the stuff. It's probably like a little over a quarter of a mile out. I left it behind because <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was going to set up here, but I like this area. Let's go get our stuff. Driving your car down, it's time to cruise. So you go to the summertime, hang out, it looks like a car show. Everybody come looking real fine. Fresh from the barbershop, fly to the beauty salon. Every moment fronting and maxing. Chilling in the car, they spend all day waxing. Leaning to the side, but you can't speed through. Two miles an hour, so everybody sees you. There's an air of love and of happiness, and this is the Fresh Prince's new definition of summer. Well, um, I'm pretty much uh, set up as much as I'm going to do for today. Um, like I said before, uh, the situation is not the greatest for uh, to be as concealed as I want it to be uh, throughout the season or uh, when I come in the next time. I'll go find some brush, I'm trying to put some stuff out front. But um, unfortunately, I noticed that someone else has a trail cam hanging uh, up in the tree. I didn't notice it until I was setting up and I already had a pop up, I already had trail cams out. Uh, I'm sure it's someone just scouting, but you know, out here in public land, that's kind of how it is everyone hunting top of each other kind of thing uh, but this is the the view that i have so check it out as you guys see i have some shooting lanes here over here that open area that's how this looks out front i have some of this burlap stuff trying to give me as much as a uh, concealment as possible inside the uh the pop-up but if you guys look straight ahead on that tree right there, let me see if you can see it, that little guy right there. There's a trail cam over there and mine is over there. But uh, anyways, so I have some shooting lanes here. I have one another one here. Um, so we'll see. We'll see uh, how that kind of plays out. Uh, hopefully we'll start seeing some animals. I threw some corn out there to get some more attention, but uh, but yeah, uh, pretty beat work today. Drove out here, did my walk like I was supposed to, and hopefully it pays off. I'm l looking forward to opening weekend. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is how it kind of looks. Let me show you outside. I was trying to do a little time lapse of uh, me setting up, but unfortunately, it's so hot, my phone got overheated and it stopped recording so so much for uh 
kind of good uh, dope video for you guys. But that's just how it looks. Obviously not concealed at all. I have a camera here. My other camera's over there. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, regardless, this season I'm looking forward to walking around a little bit more, getting into some different areas. But I think this area right here is probably going to pay off, hopefully for uh, my kids, you know, to come out and enjoy hunting and uh, harvesting another animal. With that being said, thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of the season. Go check out my kayak videos. I'm not done uh, kayak fishing. I've just been busy. But anyways, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Share with the homies like always. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.